Hi and welcome to Inside Line. This week we're peering into the future of motoring with some of the early highlights of the Frankfurt Motor Show. First up though is the action that's heating up in the ute market and Jez, Ford has become the first brand to fit curtain airbags and stability control, basically the full safety kit, on all of its dual cab utes in the upcoming Ranger. It's a pretty big move. It is, and they're slightly ironic considering that we're still waiting for them to fit curtain airbags to all Falcon models, but uh, credit where credit's due. They are raising the stakes in the ute segment in terms of safety. And this is probably going to kickstart, I guess, a, a bit of a sales war. We're seeing some pretty sharp pricing, new features such as those safety features. It's, uh, it's going to step up. It is. You know, we had Amarok come in earlier this year and and, uh, you know, they brought in sort of good safety and you know, they, were, they were good on the pricing as well. And now we've had the Hilux, which is, of course, the, the pace setter in the, in, the, in the market in terms of sales. They were trying to respond to things like the Ranger and the Amarok and the upcoming Mazda BT50. And uh, so there's some price reductions. They've also tried improving safety, but... Uh, they haven't quite gone the same way. They've fitted ABS across every model. <laughs> About two decades after everybody else. But, yeah. Um, you know, yeah, they're, they're still missing some uh, elements on the Hilux. And I don't think we're going to see improvements until next-gen model. But sharpen the pricing, but in, in terms of really sharpening pricing, right at the other end of the scale are diesel models now for the Great Wall Utes. That's right, yeah. I mean, uh, they're already going very well in the market, the, uh, the Great Wall Utes. Diesel power is already popular in that market, so yeah, watch out. So if you're after a ute, the next couple of months could be a good time to start sniffing around. Now onto the futuristic stuff, and that means the latest international motor show. Now the Frankfurt show doesn't open until next week, September 13, but already we've seen plenty of sneak peeks of some of the concept cars that could shape the cars we're driving within a few years. And Jez, one of the more interesting ones is this Volkswagen Nils, a little single-seater with some F1 pedigree. That's right, so sort of a billion no mates because there's, uh, there's no room for any of your friends <laughs> and there's no room for carpooling, even though they're calling it the future of commuting. Um, but yeah, an interesting looking thing. It's uh, reminiscent of the uh, one litre car that they've been showing uh, a few years ago. And, uh, you know, but this one is even more fuel efficient because it's zero emissions. Uh, three metres long, made of aluminium, but I'm not sure we're going to see it in production. No, it doesn't look like something that's about to launch onto the market. But mm. at the other end of the scale is the, uh, the Citroen, the Tubic, which um, does look pretty interesting and maybe has a hint of Sandman in there. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'd say it looks more than interesting. I mean, very flamboyant design, and uh, there's certainly more than a nod to the VW Combi in its design. But yeah, it's inside where uh, the, you've got that sort of the Sandman link uh, with the rear seat that <laughs> converts into a double bed. So <laughs> yeah. uh, I, guess, well, I guess you shouldn't expect anything less from uh, the world's most amorous nation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, um, something that I guess is dear to your heart, not so much the car, the Peugeot HX1, but what's in the car, Jez? A coffee machine Absolutely. on board. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. This is a car after my own heart. Yeah, I mean, you always think when you go on these long road trips, you're always trying to find a good coffee, and uh, it's always a struggle. But yeah, this one, integrated coffee machine. Just There's also a mini bar. Don't spill it in your lap. That's right. Now I've got to work out how to fit a toilet in there so you can keep going forever. That's right. <laughs> Well, that's it for Inside Line this week. As always, you can stay tuned to drive.com.au for all the latest motoring news and reviews, including all the big reveals from next week's Frankfurt Motor Show. Catch you next time.